What up everybody, it's your girl Lady T. If I look different and not that clear today y'all, it's because I am recording on my laptop. I did not charge my camera up last night. So anyway, today is it's going to be a crab leg video. It might be sh drastically like Like I just said, I didn't have the money. Um, we don't live in an apartment. You know, we live in a house. And when you live in a house, that means you have real rent, real light bill. So, what I did have enough to cover my half of the bills because me and my husband, we split everything 50-50. I don't know how y'all and y'all husband do it. But we've always split the bills 50-50. So when I couldn't make up my half, he had to put extra with it, which he didn't, he didn't have no problem with that. My husband doesn't care about that. Because at the end of the day, you know, we're a team and we want. But anyway, so like I said, where I couldn't make up my half, my husband had to put um more with it. Plus... For the bills, plus make up my half for the gas money that month, like the things we needed for the house, like me and my daughter's personal things. So we just didn't have the money for me to renew my stuff. So my stuff expired. My firearm license expired. And they let me go. You know, even though before I was actually moved to the second site, because I was working with my husband, and 
And they were like, well, you can't do that. It's against the rules. But when we looked at the rules, it wasn't against the rules and whatever. So, um, so basically, they, they screwed me over, y'all. I don't really want to get into it, get into it like that. Because, you know, this thing has given me a headache. And no, I don't even care. But I'm not working anymore. So, I'm not even going to say, well, I'm going to do these videos. Just, you know, uh upload all these videos like I said before because I'm I'm not I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna lie to y'all like that. Because I already know that I'm not gonna do that. Because if I'm not looking for another job then I have other stuff to do in my life also, you know, I have a kid and and, you know, my mom's car is not working and I have to take her places and or sometimes I just have other stuff to do. But anyway, but yeah. So I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all that. But I decided to do my crab legs today, y'all. Um we thought the kids were gonna be out of school yesterday, since yesterday was President's Day. And me and La Mama was going to do our video, but they said the kids had to go. It was a makeup day. From all them days they didn't go because we didn't get any snow, or because they claimed it was too cold. Imagine that bull crap. Um, so I'm doing it by myself today. I won't gonna do it, but I just wanted to do something to make myself feel better. I mean, I'm not sad. I was at first, y'all, but I'm not sad because, I, like I said, I looked at it like this. I basically had to choose between getting my stuff fixed or paying my bills. And my bills come first. I'm, I'm sorry, you know, because the light bill people... Or the or my landlord doesn't want to hear why well, I had to do this and I had to do that at work. They don't want to hear that crap. You know what I'm saying? So I made a pimp decision and you know, and I left with my head hanging high, you know, because I did my job. I was great at my job. And and that's all it is. Mm. Even though the assistant manager that worked down there, y'all, I'm not going to call no names, but even though she didn't like me, because she lied to my boss on me, y'all, and, hold on, y'all, I got to get some tissues or something. Alright, I had to get some napkins. But anyway, like I was saying, even though she lied on me, y'all, and she was like, um, I argue with the customers. When she's looking for me, she can't find me. And I'm like, that's bull crap. I argue with the customers because there's a sign on the door, y'all, that says no food or drink. Okay? Allowed. I got crab all the way up there. Whatever. Um, there's a sign on the door that says no food or drink allowed in the building, right? When I was trained, I was told to enforce this. To enforce this. So that's what I was doing. So, you know, when you have people, you know, not everybody was bad. But when you got some people that's coming up in there. Mm. Hit that too. When you have people that's coming up in there with that, I'm going to do what I want to do kind of attitude, and you have to deal with that, you know, it's just crazy. 
And sometimes, because I had to, I had to patrol the parking lot also. Okay. Which meant that I wasn't always in the building. Every hour we had to patrol the parking lot, y'all. Why, I do not know. I don't know. But it was a part of our job description and I did it. So, if I wasn't there, I was outside patrolling the parking lot, assisting customers to their car, or putting up the motorcycle test when you go in there to, uh, to get your motorcycle license, setting up tests for them, which I'm pretty sure was not in my job description, but I did it anyway because I knew they were busy. You know what I'm saying? They were trying to get people up out of there so we can go home. So, I just tried to help. And that was what I was told to do when I was trained. And if I wasn't doing that, I was in the bathroom. So, and I'm going to tell y'all, stand up on your feet. And those that work construction or work in warehouses or that stands up on y'all feet all day. And the only time you don't stand up on your feet is when you take your lunch for an hour. I was there nine hours, maybe ten, maybe eleven hours a day, depending on how busy we was. So I took lunch from one to two. Okay, they open up at nine o'clock on the weekdays from nine to five. And on the on Saturdays they opened up from eight to twelve. So during the weekdays, you stand on your feet, which is anywhere between 8 to 11 hours. You only have an hour of lunch. And they didn't want you to um, lean up against the wall, like try to take some of the pressure off of your feet, trying to lean up against a the chair. They didn't give us a stool. They didn't give us a chair. They didn't give us nothing. And they wanted us to do this every day. Which I shared days with another guy that worked down there. But this was an everyday thing, y'all. Like, when I first got there, he was so happy to see me, y'all. Because he was like, you know, doing it six days out of a week is, is crazy. And so we shared days. Um, when I first got there, we were basically alternating weekends. But, after a while, it got to the point where, without asking me, now y'all, without asking me, you know, is it cool, you know, you do you got a little side hustle going on on the weekend, you know what I'm saying? You know, all the blue, I had to do every weekend. So, basically... If I didn't request that day off, or request a weekend off, y'all, I worked every weekend. Which ain't a problem. But I did have... Now, where is that meat I was just eating? But I did have a problem with the fact that he didn't ask me. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Like, he don't know what I got going on in my personal life. And to be honest with y'all, he didn't care. So... I worked every weekend, like I said, unless I asked for that day off, that meant the weekend off, or, you know, Lord forbid somebody passed away in the family and we had to go to the funeral. So it went from that to, on Tuesdays, because I worked Mondays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Now... It started off like that. You know, he would get four days one week. I would get three. I would get three days one week, and then he would get four. That's how it started off, y'all. But after a while, it wasn't like that anymore. After a while, I was just doing Mondays, Fridays, and Saturdays. He was doing Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, which means that he would get more hours than me, even though it won't probably no more like three or four more hours. But still, it was more hours. He wasn't trying to balance it out at all. So, it went from that 
to him. Anybody know what um, Workman Comp is? Y'all know what Workman Comp is? Put it down low in the comment before I say anything. So, it went from that to me having to go work Workman's Comp. Which, I'm not going to lie, I love working, Workman's Comp. Because, in between cases, the judge would be like, you don't have to stand up. You know, pull up a chair. It's like a whole nother hour, hour and a half, two hours before my next case. And there's no need for you to stand up on your feet. So, I love working Workman's Comp. Even though he didn't ask. He didn't ask if I wanted to do that. He just put me on there to do that. Now, lesser pay. Y'all, sometimes... I would only be there an hour. At $9 an hour. And so... When he found out that they were coming down every week... Every week... He put me on the schedule for there. Now, some days I'll be there six to eight hours. Which is fine. Um, some days, like I said, I'll only be there an hour. Hell, a couple of times I was only there, y'all, for 30 minutes. A waste of my time. You know what I'm saying? But he would have me scheduled from... He would have me scheduled from... um. 8 o'clock that morning until 3 o'clock that evening. But I was only there for 30 minutes. Which meant I only got paid for 30 minutes. Half the time, he didn't even know when I was supposed to be there, y'all. And I'm sorry y'all ain't showing y'all to me, but I'm just talking. Um, Like I said, half the time, he didn't know what time I was supposed to be there, y'all. Half the time, he would call and wake me up and be like, Why you ain't at Workman's Comp? I'm like, because it wasn't on the schedule. And he was like, well, I just got an email saying that they're there and you need to get there. And I'm like, I'll get there when I get there. Yes, I did talk to him like that. I surely did. Because as a supervisor, you're supposed to be on your ship. Okay? Now, I already knew some of the times when he didn't put me on the schedule work, I had to go there. But, as per... The head man in the company said, we go by the schedule. So if you ain't put me on the schedule, that means I don't have to work it. So when you call me and ask me why I'm not there, of course I'm going to get smart with you. Because as a supervisor, you suck. My supervisor sucked, y'all. He has called me insubordinate so many times, I just think that crap is funny. And it's not that I was insubordinate, y'all. It was the fact that I wasn't going to allow him or anybody else to talk to me any kind of way or treat me any kind of way. You know what I'm saying? Like, to get, you have to get respect to give it. Respect is earned. It's not given. And way before this dude became my supervisor, when Jack Short was alive, y'all that's been following me know who Jack is. Rest in peace, brother. I had no problems with this company when Jack was alive. When Jack killed himself and my husband took over, it was like we started having all kinds of problems like with this company. And I believe they were nitpicking with me. You know what I'm saying? They would nitpick with me to get me, uh oh, to get me to spaz out so they could fire me, but they couldn't. I was too good at my job. I was too good at what I did. My only thing, my only complaint really, because after a while, y'all, I got used to standing up on my feet. Because I would find ways to not have to stand up on my feet. You damn right, if I gotta go pee five times in one hour, I'm gonna go pee. If I got to go sit on the toilet, and this actually came from the manager. Well, she's, I don't think she's the manager there no more. But she even told me, she was like, I don't see how y'all do it. She was like, they won't let y'all have a stool. 
And she was like, if I was you, when I start hurting, go sit in the bathroom for about five minutes. And that's what the hell I did. I have scoliosis, which means my spine is crooked. I was born this way. And I just needed a little relief. I got the doctor shows, y'all. I went to Walmart. I spent fifty dollars on them um doctor shows from Walmart and them things them things didn't work. If this video cuts out, y'all I'm gonna have to go and delete some stuff and then come back. But nothing helped. It helped for maybe a week. After that week, y'all them things didn't work no more. And I got tired of going and buying the little the eleven dollar ones from Family Dollar and switching my shoes out. You know, that's crap just tiring. I even sent the um sent them um sent the ones back from Walmart that I got back from the company and I got my damn money back. Because they didn't work, y'all. Like them things they, they just did not work. I mean, I tried everything. I put on knee braces, back braces, hand braces, feet braces, head braces. And it just didn't work. And I wasn't the only one. Like, the guy that worked there, he complained too. Like, you know, this crap is ridiculous. And then you got to deal with the rude customers and then the workers. Some of the workers. Um, like say, if you're going to the bathroom or you're... Patrol in the parking lot. If you miss somebody going in with a drink, they won't say anything. They'll wait till you get in there and be like, Come here, come here, come here. Oh, that person over there. Oh, that's Tiki. I don't need that. That person over there has a drink. And, and, and I'm like, Okay, so why you didn't say something to them? Why would you wait till you see me to say something to them if you saw them first? That's where the conflict came in. Y'all, I had a chick. When I say, I'm a big girl, okay, I, I gained a lot of weight over the last two years. I know I gained at least, shit, um, 50 pounds, 50 to 60 pounds over the last two years. So, I had this big block, y'all. She was bigger than me. Oh, my God. Um, She was way bigger than me, y'all. I had this chick try to fight me. Ew! I tried to clean the dookie off and it squirted me everywhere. Anyway, I had this big block, y'all, try to fight me because I told her she couldn't have food and snacks in the building. And this chick actually tried to fight me, y'all, and we got the argument down there because I ain't no punk. You know what I'm saying? You not gonna sit there and try to fight me and I'm just doing my job. Like, nah, that's that's not gonna work, B. You know what I'm saying? So they didn't have my back on that. They claim claim that they didn't hear anything. If y'all y'all got DMVs in y'all home tell y'all see how close them uh chairs is to them um windows. Okay? And as big as my mouth was, there's no way they didn't hear that. You know what I'm saying? They claim they didn't hear none of it. I also got into it with a customer. Because it was a day where they were short staffed. Um, and I, be, I guess the guy felt like they were taking too long. So, I watched this guy. After about an hour, you can tell he was getting agitated. I heard him say, if they call one more number before me or one more person before me that came in after me, I'm going to go up there and I'm going to go the fuck off. Now, side note. On every bottom of the DMV tickets that they give you with your number on, it tells you it's not first come, first serve. Only way it's first come, first serve, y'all, and this is not on the ticket, is if you're the 
first probably three people in line when they first open. Venus first come first serve. It is based off of what you're there for. At the bottom of the ticket, it says the computer generates the numbers. Only thing the workers do is hit next on their screen and whatever the computer generates to pick, <coughs> that is what's being called. Now, I'm not saying they don't have the power to go up into the system of the computer and pick the numbers that they want because some they actually do. So, I'm not going to say that they don't. But the only time I've seen them do that is when they're backed up. So, like, you have an R. You have 50 R's, 10 V's. Um, they're gonna try to get the R's out of there. You know what I'm saying? Two people are gonna be two. Let's say if they have six people working, two of them people are gonna be working on trying to get the R's out of there. Everybody else is gonna work on everything else until they get caught up, and then they'll come start working on the R's too. So anyway, so they called the number, y'all. <laughs> Dude jumped up. I stopped him real quick. I said, sir, come here. Uh-uh, don't do that. I said, don't do that. Please don't go up there making a scene arguing with the workers. I said, if you look on the bottom of your ticket, it states that I've already stated this. I told him what it stated. And... And everything, and so you know, he was a real cocky ass, but he sat down. Um, this lady came in, and he was just, you know, irate. He wasn't irate, irate, but he was just basically telling people, Don't go up there and ask them questions, or the security guard gonna make you sit down. I'm like, Sir, don't do that, don't lie on me like that. Well, that's not what I told you. I explained to you what it says at the bottom of your ticket. Because evidently read, reading is not fundamental with you. Okay? So, me and him got into a little heated argument. Like I told him, don't lie on me. I hate when people lie on me. If you're going to tell anything, tell what I just told you. Because you back here threatening to go up there and cuss these workers out because you feel like that they're doing you wrong. And if you read the bottom of your ticket, all your answers at the bottom of your ticket while other people that were um, after you that came in after you were going before you. It's just simple. But anyway. <sighs> so I ain't been sleeping too good last couple of nights either, y'all. Like, my asthma has really, my asthma has really, really, really been, like, messing with me here lately. I don't know why, but, like, that mug wakes me up out my sleep. And then it's just terrible. Like, Sometimes I have to come downstairs and sleep downstairs on the couch because it's cooler down here just so I can breathe. I have asthma and bronchitis. And it's crazy. Like this change of weather, y'all. It's crazy. Like if you have kids with asthma or bronchitis. And they're telling you, you know, they're having problems. And you think that they're just joking to stay out of school. Y'all, they ain't joking. This is coming from an adult. I know if it hits me hard like this and I'm able to I'm able to maintain mine better than a child can. I know it's, it's, it's killing them babies. Well, not killing them, but I know it's giving them babies problems. Like, y'all, they ain't joking. Like, this change of weather is crazy. Like, it's supposed to be wintertime and... 
couple some of the days it feel like it's spring. I don't know what's going on. But yeah. So I just wanted to come on here and I'm not done yet, y'all. <laughs> I'm almost done, but I'm not done yet. I just want to come on here and touch bases with y'all and to see what y'all been up to. And who got them taxes back, y'all? Like, is any any of my subscribers on here? I'm not going to call y'all my subscribers. I'm sorry. Any of my family, because that's what y'all are to me. Y'all are family. Any of y'all, are y'all in these tax groups? Like, if y'all are, comment down below which tax group that you're up in. Because we might be in the same tax group. So, let me know that down below. What y'all gonna buy when y'all get y'all taxes? Me? Bills. <laughs> Getting up on these bills. Pay some bills up for a couple of months. You know what I'm saying? Give us a little breathing room. Get little mama some clothes, some shoes, because she will be going to high school this year. Y'all, like, I have no idea where the time has gone with that little girl. Y'all, she 13. She'll be 14 this, this year, and she'll be going to high school. Like, I feel, <laughs> I feel so, like, I feel so, I'm not going to say old, because I don't, I feel old every day. <laughs> but... I feel like my baby is growing up on me, y'all. And sooner or later, she's going to be off to college. She's not going to need me. She's going to graduate from college. She's going to get married. She's going to have kids. You know, she's going to have a career. And she's not going to need mama and daddy no more. And I wonder if this is the way my mama felt when I, <laughs> when I went out on my own. You know? What? Kids always need their mom and daddy. No matter how old they are. Even if it's just for support. And love. And. You know cheering them on from the sideline. They're going to always need us. So. And I get that idea. But. That's what I'm planning on doing with my taxes y'all. Um. I don't know. Did I tell y'all that my car broke down? I think I did. I believe I did. I mean, this was this happened back here before Halloween, so I'm pretty sure. I can't remember if I told y'all. Anyway, if I didn't tell y'all, my transmission went out in my car back here. Probably maybe a week or two before Halloween. Transmission would kaput. That mug, it'll go in reverse, but that mug won't go in drive. So, um, my daughter asked me, was I going to get another one for tax time? And I really was, y'all, until I lost my job. And so, I'm like, no, because we still have your daddy's car. And ain't nothing wrong with that car. It's a 2011 HHR. You know, so I'm just going to take my taxes and I'm going to pay some bills up. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying we can't afford another car, but we can't afford another car right now. Not as far as like payments, but we just, that's, that's an extra bill and extra maintenance that we can't afford right now because I'm not working. And I'm not trying to put... All that stress on him. You know, he, he's doing enough already. So, I'm not that type of woman to just go out and be like, well, my husband will pay for it. No, I'm I'm not that type of chick. Nah. So, I'm not worried about a car. I am going to, like I said, pay bills up for a couple of months. Do some other things. And I'll worry about a car next year. You know what I'm saying, y'all? So... And I feel like that's the adult thing to do. <clears throat> so, anyway, I'm done now, y'all. 
I'm sorry y'all can see it. If um like I said, if I would have charged my camera Y'all could have got a better view. But I just want to come on here and chit chat with y'all and I do feel a lot better now that I've came on here and talked to y'all for a little bit. But um yeah. Um, if you have not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I don't know what you're waiting for. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment. Click that notification bell so you can be um, notified when I do upload videos. And y'all just keep me in your prayers because... Excuse me. I forgot my water. Just keep me in y'all prayers, y'all. Because the devil is really busy. Like, that's not the only thing. <laughs> that, that's... That's not the only thing that's going on. You know, like death has come and it's hitting people so much. Like if, if it's not in our family, it's like people that we know, people that we grew up with. And it's, it's just crazy, y'all. Like it's stressful. Like y'all can't tell it, but I'm so stressed to like, i got crab legs on my nail. <laughs> I'm so stressed to where I have to walk around with a smile on my face to make the whole world think that I'm not. My husband is stressed. I know he's stressed. He comes home every other day with the headache. You know what I'm saying? And we keep each other uplifted. We keep each other going. And But just say a prayer for us, y'all. But we're going to be alright. We don't want no sympathy. Because in this situation with the job thing, we've been here before, y'all. We, we've been here before to the point where, hell, we didn't know what we were going to do. Like, we were ready to get on the corner and shake some ass for some cash. You know what I'm saying? But it didn't have to get to that because my God stepped up in. And I know he's going to step up in. You know, right now, it's just a, it's a stepping stone for me. It's a time for me to, because that job at the DMV was stressful. Like, every day I would come home mad because somebody made me mad. Or, I didn't understand the fact of why when I'm off the clock, at the end of the day, I have to sit there and wait for them to leave and go to their car and they're not getting paid for it. And they might be there extra 30 to 45 minutes to an hour, even longer after I've been standing up on my feet 9 to 11 hours. But anyway, I don't want to, okay, anyway. But, you know, it was a stepping stone. It was a learning lesson from God letting me know you don't settle where you're not happy. And a lot of people may think I'm wrong when I say that. But I don't feel like I am. Because I wasn't happy at that job. I liked the job. But I wasn't happy there. Because I just wasn't happy. So the next time I do get a job. I will make sure that it's something that I want to do. That I, when I wake up in the morning. I can't wait to go to work. Even though I know that will fade over time. But I still want to be able to do something. Where I enjoy going to work. Where I don't have to worry about managers talking behind my back to my supervisor trying to get me fired because they don't like me. Oh, or going behind my back telling my managers that I look like a prostitute or a hookup in my uniform. Yes, that did happen, y'all. It happened. I didn't find out till later because if I knew when she said it, I would have reported her. But I didn't knew till later on and it was too late. So, anyway. But, like I said, I just want to come on here and eat with you guys. Talk with you guys. Because I don't really do this um, often. But I'm going to try. At least until I can find another job. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm not going to say it's written in stone. Because y'all already know me. Yeah. Oh, one more thing. We do have a... A seafood place that is opening up here in my hometown, and I cannot wait. I saw sample pictures of a girl that knows the person. I believe she knows him, or whatever the connection is. She had a big old, it was like a turkey pan that you cook the turkey in for uh, 